these are just kind of fun. Um, I mean, you, you don't need to do them all, obviously, if the base is right. You can look and see that 2 to the 4th power is 16. Um, because 24 says, what's the base of all of them? But it might be a good thing just to look at that. 2 to the negative 3rd, oh yeah, the negative power flips it upside down. And then the third power, 2 to the third is 8, but the negative makes it a 1 over 8. And, and I would think this would be a good one to look at too, 2 to the 13th. Well, wait a second inside here, how is that 13? Well, when you multiply the bases, you add the exponents to be a 13, so the base is 2. Uh, here, what to the 1 half power? It's a review, basically, what does a 1 half power mean? It's a square root, so the square root of what number is equal to 5? Well, it's 25. You go through that same process, 25 if that's our base, the first power, that would be, and you reduce this, subtract the exponents, 5 squared. And then 5 to the negative second power would be, uh, flip it, and 25 squared is 625 and so on. I don't know that I want to deal with this. Um, but this one, something that you're raising to the 2 thirds power, which means you're, you're first of all taking the, the uh, cubed root of it, and then you're squaring it to get a 4. Well, squaring what will give me a 4? A 2. And the cube root of what will give me a 2? Well, that's an 8. That's, this, is a, this is a tricky one. Because um, that, you might be able to get close uh, with something like that. Um, and, yeah, I would say that's the easiest way to go. It turns out 8 to the 4th power is, is 4,000. And 8 to the 6th power is the same thing as 2 to the 18th. Um, you know, if you say x to the 6th... Um, and uh, yeah, that's this is a tricky one. Well, the answer is eight. All right, x to the sixth power. Now you got me thinking. Equals two to the eighteenth. Yeah, this is a good way of doing it. If I can break eighteen up into into uh, two things here, this is kind of a weird one. But if I can say that this is the same thing as two to the three times six, right? Well, if I break this down. The 6 is on the outside, which is this, and then the 3 is on the inside. So the thing that's on the inside is basically that 2 to the 3rd power. And so 2 to the 3rd power is our x, because the 6s are on the outside. So x equals 8. And lastly, I don't think I need another video to, to, to go through this one. Um, one thing, you, you, this basically says that the base here is not 10. And we know that because we know that 10 to the 1st power is equal to 10. Well, this is less than 1. So that means this is going to be uh, less than this number here. Okay, because whatever you're raising to the power of 0 0.9, that's going to be smaller than, than whatever it is. So I know this number's got to be bigger than 10. And process of uh, guess and checkness, uh, I guess one thing you can kind of do would be to take a couple guesses. It turns out if you take 12 and raise that to the power of 0.92662840. It's going to be darn close, but it's going to be much uh, closer than you can get with anything else. In fact, I just went just to see if I put a 2 in there, it actually gave me exact 10, which is still probably an approximation, but it's, it's darn close. So the base that the calculator is using is a base of 12, because 12 to that power is equal to 10.